We try to talk with something with the hackathons. <laughs> yeah. Can we? Can something. We? Can, can, can we? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm <laughs> yeah. not sure. Hello, All right. Guys. Hello. Um, tell the hackathon community about yourself yeah. Yeah. and yeah. what do you do? Uh, yeah. Hello, everybody. My name is Iro Nurmi. I'm the CEO of Junction, and, and Junction, what we do in Junction is uh, we create hackathons, one very large here in Finland, uh, which has around 1,300 hackers every year. And also, we have been doing a globally hackathons, so we are expecting to have around 10 junctions in the, in the world uh, this year. And what I do? Well, I Try junk should try to do something I don't know to support everyone and uh, really love what I'm doing. And also I'm a computer scientist myself, although I'm not very proud of that anymore since I've been turning more of a business person slash event organizer slash I don't know hustler or a jack of all trades or none, I don't know. Yeah. But uh, a little bit also about Junction of how it differs from different hackathons. Uh, I think we do things very ambitiously, and we are student-based, uh, volunteer-based organization. Uh, we have around 500 volunteers each year who really put their soul and, and, and all their efforts on building the best hackathons in the world. So we kind of take uh, very, very high quality um, events. We always want to produce the best experience for the participants. And also, right now where we are, is at Clarion Hotel, which we had our uh, tech meetup here called Helltech, Helsinki Tech Community Meetup. And that's also nowadays part of Junction. So we are doing a lot of things from learning to creating uh, and giving all the opportunities to people to create. Yeah, volunteering is important, but uh, I want to talk a little bit more. Sorry. Uh, uh, more, a little bit more about the developers, hackers for these uh, things. It says that you match some numbers from uh, last year and this year was 10 uh, Hackathon Plus, the main event. Well, last year it's uh, now remember, it's a big one. <laughs> so uh, explain it for me, how many people came abroad to Finland to do that yeah. major, huge yeah, yeah, yeah. Which uh, Thompson is really proud of because we are from Finland. It's a small country, so we always have to think globally. We want to attract a lot of people here uh, or our events. Uh, so last year in our event, there was actually 105 nationalities in the event. So I'm not sure is there a statistic on, on is, is that the world's internationalist hackathon or the most international hackathon? But I believe it is. Uh, at, at least I, I am happy to be proven wrong if somebody sends me a message. Uh, so that's a really, really neat place, a melting pot, pot for different cultures, different truck divers backgrounds. And, and I think that makes Junction a very unique place. And also, I think it helps now because we are spreading the message to each country so they can add their flavor, their local flavor on what their local junction is going to look like. So I, I think for me it's really exciting to meet different persons uh, with the same kind of hacker mentality. Because that's something that co combines us all. We want to create, we want to hack uh, and do stuff, actual stuff, not just, you know, talk about it. Okay, so check it out that you have uh, in um, one or two weeks you have uh, Junction Tokyo. Junction Tokyo, so check it out, Junction, and also check where they're doing uh, active uh, duties and they have the main event again end of this year. So I want to just end for this. Uh, what uh, message you send for developers, hackers, someone who is not so sure if they should be part of anything or just usually to get part of any kind of hackathon? I believe that uh, whether or not you are a hacker or a business person or a designer or whatsoever, uh, hackathons are maybe the best places to uh, really test out your skills and get to know a lot of people. So even though if you don't have very specific technical skills, please just try it out because the concept itself is, is really, really fine. Even though if you have just a classroom or basement whatsoever, 
it's really exciting to you know come up with an idea, try to complete it in 48 hours or uh, in a week. And so, uh, to me, uh, just try it out uh, and test it, whether it's for you or not. But at least if, if it's not for you, you make a bunch of friends and, and learn something in, in the time. Yeah, thanks. Peaceful and healthy. <laughs>